Motivate me real quick. I ain't got no motivation for you, bro. <laughs> I'm like, nah. Russell and I came to the gym today with zero motivation to work out. All I care about is the Cavs game. And that starts in about two hours. All right, so I'm about to start today's workout with 50, 10 minutes of cardio. And you best believe that's gonna count towards my 40 minutes of cardio today. <laughs> Oh, so you know what's weird? I have two things. One, my ankles were ashy as fuck. Two, Russell, me and Russell came in today and we were motivated to work out. And the funny thing is, I saw Russell's tweet while I was laying in bed at home and it kind of motivated me to get to the gym. He said something about how today wasn't his day to be at the gym. He didn't feel like being at the gym, but he realized that there's someone out there that's working out, working harder than him and that pushed him to get to the gym. So that's kind of what pushed me to get to the gym. So I didn't tell Russell to his face because I'm a bitch ass nigga, but shout out to Russell for motivating me. So I wanted to give y'all a physique update since I didn't really give y'all one in the last video, my first video. I don't know why I didn't do that in my first video. It's kind of weird. But anyways, here's a physique update. This is where I'm standing at 207 pounds. Abs defined, chest. I'm a little flat right now because I haven't worked out upper body in like two or three days. Going on three days. Well, if I didn't work out today, it would be three days. Um, today I'm gonna be hitting a push workout so all this will look a lot better um, after my workout. Today, I am going apartment shopping. I've lived with my mom since November when I moved out of Christian. Um, before that, I had my own apartment in Houston. I don't know if you guys if you guys didn't watch me back then. I did live in Houston in a medical center area, and it was honestly amazing. I've lived by myself for like six years, so the transition moving back home has been a bit weird. It's been kind of strange, and uh, the only reason I haven't got in my own place is simply because I don't I haven't had time to go look for apartments and or haven't made time to look for apartments and make my selection um, but today is that day vlog life what's good people are haters yep. like they're going to look at your video and be like man they're like fuck him for that then you have to make it more like more so not that you're having fun but that the place is fun A hospital in the 1950s. A hospital? Yeah, this used to be St. Anthony's Hospital. That's, nice. That's good brick. So I just got a monster from this gas station, and my cousin's trying to dissect how bad. He's trying to dissect every ingredient in the monster can and tell me how bad it is for you. Take it from a science student. First of all, when the rule of thumb, when you got chemicals in a drink that you can't pronounce, then you know you've already been fucked. So when you have pyridoxine hydrochloride and you're drinking anything with any form of chlorine, you're fucked. Damn, I'm about to parallel park. I'm about to show you how good our parking skills are. Well, we've checked out two so far. The first one, where Russell lives. Oh my God! I did this shit in my sleep. <laughs> oh my God. Cause you have this.
Because we've been on four total apartment tours, and honestly, out of all the four that we've liked, the best, the, the, out of all the four that we've looked at, the best one that we saw, or the best one that we visited, four pools, four pools, two gyms, three cyber cafes, a yoga class, cycling class, not that I do any of that. It was just amazing, the amenities, it was like a huge utopia, had about 2,500 residents. It was sick, it was the circle. Had a pool we, that think, looked like it was a four season. Yeah, the pool seen. was absolutely amazing. All right, so now that today's apartment shopping is completely over with, I'm at Subway right now. It's now 4 p.m. in the afternoon and I've had zero grams of protein in my body. I've only had like 38 carbs, so I'm about to get my first well-rounded meal. So today was an absolutely incredible, productive, amazing, super awesome day. Everything was great about today, I loved it, and then I topped it off with a little grocery run where I got what I like to call the prep lifesavers, and I'm about to show you all of it right here. Got some salads, salad bags, I got some pico de gallo, I got some red skin, roasted red skin potatoes, already made, all I have to do is put them in the oven. I got bison, very lean beef right here. Four grams of fat, zero grams of carbs, 36 grams of protein in these little tiny cubes of bison. Got some natural lean chicken breast. I got some rice cakes, chocolate and caramel. I got this for the salad, creamy roasted garlic, and I got some creamy balsamic for the salad as well. I got some Monster. I tried so hard to skip up on these and I couldn't. I saw them and I was like, honestly, who am I kidding? If I don't get it today, I'm gonna get it at the gas station, so. And then I got Diet Snapples, which I'm really proud of. No shame in that. And then I got these things. If you guys followed me in my last prep, I, I drank these a lot. And today, I actually tried one. And honestly, they, they do not taste as good as they did last prep. I don't know why, they just don't. They, just don't. they taste really, it tastes like I'm drinking straight acid. That's what it tastes like. It literally just hurts my mouth and my throat when I drink it. So I don't know if I'm gonna keep these or throw them away. It says zero calories, but the way it tastes, honestly, it tastes like it's just destroying the inside of your body. Right now, we're about to walk you through how to make Brussels sprouts that actually taste good. The first time I saw someone eating them and enjoying them was Matt Ogus, and he eats them a lot. And then one day, she, I came home and she made them, and I, I think she burned them a little bit, and they were still, they were still pretty good. We're about to make them and not burn them this time. sprouts that are finished I promise they're not burnt they're just the balls I make sauce that's like all over it they're like I guess the sauce got burnt but not the Brussels sprouts they still taste amazing Ooh. cooking breath ready to go I'm going to be throwing in half of this whole packet of rice <laughs> 